NAIA football, Siena Heights hosting Madonna for homecoming. Saints waste little time setting the tone. First possession, Saints march down the field. Big hole for Caleb Jefferson, home team leading 7-0. Later in the first, now a 14-0 lead. Crusaders ball, back to pass, and Siena Heights' Jalen Williams comes up with the interception and takes it the other way. 37-yard pick, 6-21-0, Saints leading. And Siena Heights not going away. More from the home team. Handoff to Jared Jordan. Tough run for six more. Jordan's second touchdown of the game. Siena Heights making it look easy. Up 55-0 in the second quarter. They go on to win 71-6. Sophomore Ethan Lopresto leading the stable of running backs with 140 yards and a touchdown in the win. Our depth is definitely good. And uh, we have a lot of competitive guys. So it gets gets everybody better that we have a lot of guys that are competing make each other better yeah we prepare for it every week the same way it doesn't matter the team's record or anything so yeah this point in the season it's all starting to fall together and our team's definitely going to be better for the following weeks coming up let's send it out to Greg Frankie and Mike Jewell to break down the homecoming win well, it was homecoming, a very, very festive atmosphere here at Siena Heights as Siena Heights took on Madonna. I guess you could consider it a good game for homecoming when you're up 55 to nothing halfway through the second quarter. But they played very well to get that lead, and certainly it was an entertaining game from the standpoint of people who came to cheer on Siena Heights. That's it. Execution, consistency. That's what Matt Cohn wanted from his team. Defense. I think always delivers. That offense continues to build, continues to get better. They've got weapons, and as they head into the second half of the season, they're looking for that playoff run, and with that defense, they will be a dangerous team for any team to play in the NAIA. Well, they scored early. They got the kickoff, and then Madonna put together a very nice drive. It looked like they were going to score the tying touchdown. Got stopped inside the one-yard line, and then the defense just slammed the door. And I think that was probably the turning point of the game more than anything else. Oh, I think so. You, you reassert yourself. Give yourself a chance to make plays on the defensive side. Special teams with the big block of the chip shot field goal. And then let your offense take over. Jordan Jefferson running the rock with that offensive line as well. Ryan Miner was fantastic at the quarterback position with consistency, making plays when he had to. It was a great effort. And then they came out, faced some adversity at the start of the second half, and battled back to take control of the line of scrimmage. Yep, and sometimes when you're up by that much, it's hard to maintain oh, yeah. the intensity in the second half. But they wanted consistency, and I thought they had remarkable consistency throughout the entire first half. Perfectly said, and it was. It, it's the goal. It's what they have to have, and it's what's been lacking in some of those close games, close battles. Kids trying hard, showing some great moments, but consistency is the absolute mark of excellence when you want to get to the top. Yep, and that's exactly where Siena Heights is aiming for every year, and they certainly took a step in that direction with this homecoming victory over Madonna.